Hi. Yeah. Hello. Y'all ready? Let's do this. You're fixing to walk to what? To Ross. Why would you go to Ross? I thought you wanted Nike. You getting Possibly. To the Ross. Okay. Peace out. Okay, guys. So today we're gonna get run over by a car. Today we are back at the Petco. We're looking for some clownfish. I almost just held your hand there. We're looking for some clownfish. Uh, they have the same ones that I had picked out a while ago, but I waited too long. So we're gonna see if they have them today. Probably. I love the lighting. Yeah, they do have some pretty. Like, look at that. There's some Aww. pretty nice leopard geckos. They're so cool. Awesome. Look at that guy. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. We're probably gonna stay away from that. There he is. <laughs> chubby frog oh my gosh that thing is so cool oh look at this dude oh pac-man he done buried himself pac-man frog also want one of these if it'll focus a little dart frog geckos are more my thing i like everything uh, and, uh, leech that's a cool animal he was my smallest gecko for a little while. That changed, huh? <laughs> yeah. He's not my biggest one yet. I got him as a pretty only five gram baby. Really? He'll jump a little bit, but my Cresties jump more than he does. <laughs> they have a tendency to free dive. <laughs> Cresties, oh yeah, they, they don't matter what's in front of them, they're going for it. Woo! So. Oh, check these out. So those are the new ones. Those oh. yellow ones? Yeah. I've never yeah, seen any like that before. Kind of shrimp. Yeah, that's a, uh, this one. Purple fire from. Ooh. Pretty wicked. I like those guys. There's a big version of Dottie. I also really like that guy. I just don't have a tank big enough for him. But I like you. I would like to get a starfish. I just don't know. I need to do some research because I don't know. Some starfish like to munch on coral. That would not be good. Oh, they got a new tank. Check that out. Holy moly. Look at those clownfish. Whoa, I like that anemone too. It's pretty neat. Pretty neato. That's awesome. These crickets are uh, looking looking mighty sus, but check this out. Anyone want a pet cockroach? Or if you want to feed it to your uh, your pet. You have multiple different sizes to choose from. You have small, medium, and large. <laughs> That's gross. What else we got here? Let's look at all the other... <gasps> no. Horn worms. Dude. You feed these to like chameleons, I think. Oh yeah, that, that would make sense since there's a uh, chameleon on the front. So what do you do? Just buy them and then you raise them and then feed them to them? Yes, sir. That's sort of cool. Oh, huh. oh, that's gross. Hey, we should uh, have that in our next podcast. Oh, we should. Podcast coming out soon, by the way. Which ones are you thinking about? I like the these gladiators that y'all have. Gladiators are awesome. Yeah, these ones, I like those, but then again, the nakeds are definitely different. Like, if you're used to seeing clownfish, they just the pop. Nakeds, yeah, yeah, they're so bright. Y'all had some, like over here, like what was it, like a Pretty month ago? Funny. No, no, no. The the oh, the, nakeds? the nakeds yeah. just like that. And the day I came in here to buy them, y'all had sold them like a few hours before or something like that. My thing is, I've got my pico reef set up right now. I've had uh, Dottie back in there. I want to put some clownfish in there. The pico is. 14, oh, yeah, I believe, yeah. yeah. So I know I'll have room for either one of them. It's just, I don't have enough room for both right, right. now. No, so, no. sort of a hard decision. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna get those mochas today. We just need some clownfish. Yes, I need some clownfish. I need some stinking clownfish. Da, da, da. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, with the gladiators, or mo whatever they are. Okay, so we're not getting the nakeds, but we are getting some really cool ones, so. That's the plan. We just gotta get them bagged up, ready to roll. Are we signing things? What's your pal's number? I just want y'all to appreciate some of these corals right here. Gah. So pretty. Sick. And with the juice? Yeah, these, the NBA yeah, shorts. Yeah, some NBA Under Armour gym shorts. Yeah. Is it raining yeah. out there? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? These are like 20 bucks. 20 bucks. For real? They got all kinds of shoes over there. Shoo. These are, He's fat. Can he breathe in there? Yeah. No. There's not a hole. <laughs> It'll be all right. All right. They're up on the counter. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the information. No problem, man. If you need anything, let us know. All right. Have a good one. I'm holding you very close to my face right now. I'm holding this very awkwardly. Someone want to grab one of these? 
so I don't look like an idiot. There you go. Thanks. I got a Nemo, guys. It's a Nemo. Look at him. It's like a sad puppy. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> we have secured the bag. All right, we're out of there. We got crickets. We got fish. So yeah, that's about it. Oi vey. Oh, we're gonna take Colby to shoe station because he needs more shoes to look fire for the ladies at Walmart. So we'll see you back at the house. In about three, two, one. A little frog right there. Probably can't see him because he's oh, so small. What a beautiful aquarium. I got PJ right there. Y'all haven't seen him yet. He's a new addition. He is a PJ Cardinal or a Pajama Cardinal, Pajama Cardinal, whatever you want to call him. He's the newest addition to this here tank. The coral is still doing fantastically, both the pulsing Xenia and the candy cane. We've got the coral banded shrimp. We've got PJ, we've got Dottie. Uh, coral banded shrimp is actually Brutus. I know it's completely different from the last time you saw it, and that's mainly because the video that that I tried to film of this tank like putting all this stuff in the audio was really crusty so I didn't make a video out of it because I didn't think it was gonna be good or I know it wasn't gonna be good but if you follow me on TikTok, that is where I post a lot of these updates and stuff if you want to see a lot of these smaller updates which I know this isn't small but follow me on there brand underscore fish just like on YouTube but anyway I'm gonna start blabbering here's the clownfish I know y'all haven't really seen them yet and you can't really see them here there's one. Oh, they're so beautiful I'm so excited gosh they're gonna look so good in this tank da -da, da -da -da -da. yeah that's right we got those fire camera angles that are slightly crooked oh what a satisfying little little cut that is come on mr clown go there you go out of boy all right Second one up, this is the slightly lighter one, lighter color. See, you are so much nicer than your friend. And I appreciate that. Now comes the fun part. I know you can't really see. I'll show you here in a second. Put that right there. Mm. Ah, oh, it's so salty. Okay, basically what we're doing here, we got a hose that goes all the way down there. It's slowly drip acclimating these beautiful, beautiful fish. I don't know how well y'all can see those right now, but those things are so pretty. These are gladiator clownfish, not gladiator mochas, not gladiator snowflake, none of those, just straight up gladiators, or that's what they claim to be. I don't really know. I don't know like all the different strains and stuff but they're really pretty i don't really care what they are <laughs> honestly uh they're just really pretty and they were pretty cheap uh compared to some of the other designer clownfish out there they had one set that was like i think 80 dollars or something like that and your boy doesn't have 80 dollars to spend on a clownfish okay i think they're gonna be awesome i'm pretty sure you heard me in the store say should i get the nakeds or should i get the gladiators the nakeds they were really pretty i didn't show the camera them or i didn't show them to the camera i don't think in the future i'll probably get some of those because i've always really liked those but they're a little more expensive they're a little more pricey so we're just gonna stick with the old gladiators also we went to go play golf today myself colby and coleman or we went to go hit range balls i don't guess that's really playing golf look what it did to my hand oh that does not feel good we're just gonna sit back relax and wait for the clownfish to get acclimated then we're gonna throw those babies in the salt water tank and get on with the rest of our day 30 40 more minutes and then we'll be ready to go ah the clown fishes are ready to go Bloop. sweet oh we gotta be very careful with this part oh, good 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 hurry oh gosh hold on buddies i'm so sorry put that down oh hello Oh, they're gonna be so pretty. Oh, yes. There he is. The clownfish are in the tank. Check those guys out. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. The Cardinal is gonna get along perfectly with him. He is probably the most chill fish I've ever had. Uh, Dottie, she will be a little testy. She's usually uh, pretty picky about the fish that come in, or just anything in general that come in. She even messed with Brutus for a while until he almost pinched her head off. Anyway, I think they'll all get along pretty good. See, like Dottie's just checking them out right now. If they do get too aggressive, I will figure out a way to separate them. Forgive the 
Sino bacteria outbreak. I am getting something that will fix that here very soon. The pulsing xenia, I swear, if you move that light just a little bit, those pulsing xenia will all close up. PJ's looking so good. Brutus, pretty as ever. Oh, that was weird. He's checking out the the clownfish too. He's like, I don't want you here. What are you doing here? And Dottie, you beautiful girl. And then we've got these two. I really don't know which one is the male and which one is the female yet. I'm going to guess that that's the female just because it's a little bigger. I guarantee you if I drop food in there right now, they would eat it. If y'all have any name suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I think that is going to be it for today's video. I thank every single one of you so much for tuning in and joining us on our little adventure today. It was really fun. I love those new clownfish. Those are so awesome. Oh, just look at them. Now you can see them a little better. Take the focus away from me cares about me again thank you so much for joining on today's adventure there's a couple more uh just little small things that i want to do to the micro pico reef whatever you want to call it for right now i'm happy with it it's going to be so cool to watch it just grow and develop if you haven't done so already hit the like button hit the subscribe button i hope every single one of you are having a great and fantastic day and i will be seeing you later